Strike a pose. Do do do. Strike a pose. <laughs> I feel like a supermodel with this fan going. Look, my hair fibers all out of my head, but. You give me fever. Never know how much I love you. Da da. Da da. Da da. Da da. Can go dancing. Danielle! Like, Habibi, Habibi. I'm not in a relationship with you. Get it. Eventually, the uglier I get, the more someone's gonna love me for my heart. Or my wallet. <laughs> I sound like Chantal. Chantal's special kiss. Merry Christmas, Chantal. Gothic edible. I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. I think I want to get along. Keep doing that. You're gonna go in your life, baby. Welcome back, Gauls. Last time we left Chantal and Nada, they had the 1000th fight and broke up. We got two little rage streams, but she went right back to his house. It's supposed to only help him for another week, okay? I slept in his bed, Liliana, because I was tired. Plans were good, actually. I like plans. Go there for a few hours out of the day to film him his video, eat. People are like, well, I talked to him, and it's like, yeah, but if it's not sexual, then I don't care. Watch, we watched his live, completely lied that he said he doesn't sleep with me. 16 missed calls from him, and I'm not, no, I'm not doing that to myself anymore. No, I'm not editing for him anymore. I'm not doing anything for him anymore, at all. I did enough. Makes his own money now. Like, you don't need me anymore, so. She talked all that shit to only go back and film his video lol. She got mad after finding out that he still talks to Gauls. She still believes they are in a relationship lol. I enjoy, I don't like eating alone. I hate it. And I don't, eating with pizza is, is fine. It's just, I don't, it's not the same because pizza doesn't have a freaking palate. He doesn't enjoy food the same way. Then, they had another fight and broke up again. Nada started uploading old videos with new titles, trying to scam the viewers lol. Anyways, I did not go anywhere last night. If you're thinking because of his uploads, those are old. If you haven't noticed, those are like his first videos. If I was there, it would be new videos uploading. Then, Christmas was getting closer and people wanted to know if Chantal was seeing her family or not. A lot of people speculated that they didn't even invite her for Christmas, and this was her response. If you have kids, if your kids were going through a hard time, would you disown them? Or would you love them more just because my family doesn't invite me every single time they bake cookies doesn't mean they don't love me in fact i have just purchased many gifts for my loved ones friends and family alike and new year's eve i'm loading up on bambino peach bambino getting a sexy no getting a comfortable pair of pajamas i'm definitely seeing friends and family l but there's some things that are not really fully confirmed so did you have plan for christmas i haven't um then with my friends, maybe I will, will stream. She was waiting for Nader to invite her to his party. That's why she wasn't sure what she will be doing on Christmas. Tell my last words to Nader. I blocked you everywhere for myself. Like I watch, I watch your live stream, I watch your videos, and everything right down to the fucking spices you're using are mine. Chantal is very annoying. If you decide to help someone financially, stop throwing it in his face every time you have a fight. If you're a kind person and genuinely trying to help him like you claim, you wouldn't be saying this. Chanta likes when people depend on her, but only when she feels like it, that's not how things work. I'm, I'm tired after our last fight, that's it. Yeah, I lost the shit just basically because I had scheduled something grocery shopping, and I went, I missed my cats and I wanted to go home and change the schedule slightly, and he lost his shit, and I don't ever want to see that, and just became very abusive. Chantal knows that Nader depends on her to take him places, and she uses that to try to control him. I have seen her do this multiple times, they make a plan, and she ghosts him last minute, and doesn't answer her phone, then she is shocked, that he gets mad low. It escalated to a bad point again, almost like before, the first bad fight, and if we don't end it here, someone's gonna end up in jail or seriously hurt, and... This is all a damn law. She doesn't mind the abusive behaviors he displays. This happened before and she went back to him. The only reason this time is different is because Nader refuses to talk to her for now, otherwise, she would have been there kissing his feet after what he did. And after all this, after all he's made me feel, he sends me a picture on, on Messenger of it's an obese dog with my face on it. After you, you scream and grab, you screamed in my face and grabbed my face, he like really, really scared me. <laughs> like he was screaming in my face, running around the room. Cigarette came really close to me again when he was screaming at me. Like last time, and then he grabbed my face, and no, I'm fucking, that's abusive, that's bullshit. Before, she would defend him and say that it was a one-time thing and they were on drugs, now it happened again. 
When she goes back to him, she only has herself to blame. Then, on Christmas Chantal didn't go to her family instead, she went live and cursed Nader out for three hours. Meanwhile he was live too with his new friend cooking and having a party low. Mr. Inspector Holly's a boo-boo cares about when you're messing it up. Oh, well, boo-hoo, sorry. Sorry, I guess I'm just bitter because I thought that I would be one of those people. Sometimes you showing yourself a family friend or something. I know, and it's not like, it's not, I don't think my family understands that, like, they don't understand me not wanting to be there today. I could give a shit about Christmas today at all. I can't fake a smiley face and just be like, like a lot of shit has happened since I last seen my family. My life is so dramatic. I just don't want to face anybody. Chantal is very self-absorbent and selfish. If her family invited her over, they probably wanted to see her and see how she is doing after all the embarrassing things she has done online. However, she only cares about herself. This was their first Christmas after the grandma passed away and she chose getting high and fighting with her imaginary boyfriend in front of people online. You can talk. Hi, guys. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope you're all are having a safe Christmas. <laughs> it sounds like Debbie. It's probably his freaking ex. She's like 70. I don't know. Someone off of his, probably the one who gave us gonorrhea. Everyone meet Debbie, the new desperate woman who wants to replace Chantal Lowell. Debbie has been supporting Nader on his channel, and she is a VIB on Chantal's channel. Nader said that they have known each other for 10 years now, and she was the friend he was visiting in Montreal. Yeah, I called you 50 fucking times, you friggin'. Oh, so he's so mad because I won't help him? Like, no wonder. Like, I'm sorry, but like, you don't even apologize for how you make me feel like shit. Like, 55 minutes cold. 55 minutes cold. And the uh, Trentine message. Now they talk about their big fight that led to this. They have different stories on what happened. So I don't take him once to probation, his fucking probation appointment, because you fucking threw my purse across the room the night before, and you spent the night before smashing my fucking dashboard and fucking grabbing my face and screaming in my fucking face. Oh, sorry, I was a little fucking apprehensive for taking you the next morning to your goddamn fucking probation appointment, you piece of shit. Now let's hear Nader's side of events. My uh, ID expired. I got sent money from my, to my family like last month when she go and uh, do this propaganda and say it's not my money, money mother to my mother the money. So I can use the need valid ID. Three days, my mother waiting for me to send money and important. Lola can barely understand him. So here is what happened according to him. His ID was expired and Chantal offered to use her ID to help him send money to his mother back home. They had done this before, but she didn't want to do it and kept delaying and he got mad. The fight probably happened when she went there after delaying it for three days. You know, we're gonna be from your pocket, just using your ID. You don't want to tell me I don't want to. Easy. Not for other people, but last minute, I, you have to make any problem. And I'm not accepting this. Chantal said before that she helped his family and sent money. Now he is saying that she only used her ID, not money. I don't believe him, Lowell. We all know Chantal, she would do anything to please him. She paid his rent, so I'm sure she offered to use her own money. Because I need some stuff to do, I don't have the ID. And she think it's just to gonna use this. I thought he didn't need anyone for anything. What happened to that? It's probably moving with her to Montreal or something, I don't know. Montreal? My fr I have real friends there. I have real friends? Are you going to treat them the same way? No, you know what I'm saying? I party with my real friend. But I'm moving to Montreal. I'm moving. We find out that Debbie paid $200 to go to Nader's and Chantal has the nerve to laugh at her when she spent thousands on him and got nothing back low. My friend is crazy, guys. I am crazy. So even my friend, my friend, they take Uber from Montreal to come here. Mm -hmm. How much cost you? Over $200. Over $200. It's my pleasure. It's been a long time. <laughs> 200 in an Uber? Dee Dee, you are fucking sad. But you know what? So am I, because I fucking gave him money too. Here, sure, I'll help you. I have so much sympathy for you. Let me bend over. Here's another. <sighs> his obsession. I want your ass. No, you're not having it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. She is still trying to convince us that he wants her lol. The delusion is real. I don't know what happened with the gonorrhea thing, but all I know is I left him for three days. He's in bed. Looks like he lost 800 fucking pounds. The big jar of coconut oil is open. In the drawer, there's poppers. And I'm just like, I researched it. He's like, I just found the bottle on the street. He got like super mad at me. <laughs> I'm like, really? Okay. She's saying I'm gay? Okay. Let somebody else say that. And, uh, it, it move. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Lola's responses are so weird and weak. 
He never denies anything. He just laughs or says why would I do that. He seemed very uncomfortable and he got mad after this, and he started blocking a lot of people. This is a dirty move from Chantal, this happened in the past, she didn't care and went back to him, so why mention it now? But she is trying to insinuate that he is gay, now that they are fighting. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> JB, why are you not coming to my mom's login? Is there groceries on the phone? I mean, like, you're not gonna not sleep, you're not gonna come down, pay that, and not sleep with somebody, is what I mean. <laughs> the delusion is real. Gall, you have paid far more and got nothing back. What are you talking about? You went live and cried about him not grabbing your boobs after buying his groceries, lol. I'm gonna do my videos too. I'm gonna do my videos too. Good for you. Huh? I gave her gonorrhea, and after that, what happened? Did she come here? Uh, if I remember right, or maybe she come here because I'm abused her. Oh la la! You must like it then. See, this is what I mean. He is stupid, and his comebacks are weak. She comes back because she is desperate and pathetic. It doesn't mean the things she says didn't happen. <laughs> joking aside, I do feel like he does have feelings for me. The problem with that 